Candace. You are my yeah. level of petty Betty. If your friend is going to come for two of your boyfriends and they become stealable, I think there's three people that are a problem here. It really hurt me. And mm. he's like, oh, you were always quite dramatic. Oh! <laughs> a gaslighter. 947. Manto, you're on TikTok. Yes. Yes. And I can imagine if you're driving to work, if you're getting dropped off at school, yeah. going to varsity, you're probably on TikTok because it's all the rage right mm-hmm. now and people cannot get off. TikTok always has really weird trends. Yeah. And there's one that I think parents, particularly, and friends need to be looking out for. There's a brand new challenge. It kicked off in 2020 and it was called, get this, the Skull Breaker Challenge. That sounds scary. It has now been renamed on TikTok to the Jump Kick Challenge. And what basically happens is, so there's a new trend now when there'll be three of us and then you and I know that we are going to say one, two, three, jump, and then I jump and clap. Then one, two, three, then you jump. Then the third person, we don't. But with this one, we jump. Two people don't jump, but they grab you at the bottom of your legs and then pull you behind and then you fall on your face. And it's something that is becoming popular. It's something that's becoming predominant. And it is incredibly dangerous. I haven't seen it. You do not do that to a friend whatsoever. It's a bunch of friends. They call themselves friends. And... How dangerous is that? I, I'm I'm sorry. You know those challenges you do with your friends on TikTok and they're all good at fun? Yeah. Um, I wouldn't... Uh, friendship is over after that. Yeah. No, it definitely I'm not about to. to fall on my face because of you. Yeah. Now, do you have a moment when you realize that one person isn't your friend? You know, Ooh. you had a moment and you're like, yeah, maybe this one isn't my friend and I should just move on. Ooh. Oh. Tons of those moments. Oh, tons of them. Tons of those moments. Yeah. And maybe you didn't fall on your face, right? No. Maybe there was no skull breaker involved, but there was a moment where you felt like this friendship might be one-sided or this friendship is not what I thought it was. Prince, good morning. Morning. How are you guys? Morning. We're good. We're good, my man. So how did you know that the one friend is actually not a mate of yours? Yeah. So this is a crazy one. Uh, it was around 12 a.m. Uh, past 12, somewhere there, and I was fast asleep. So I get a call from my friend. I won't mention his name, but I'm sure he's listening. (laughs) And he asked me, he tells me he's stuck somewhere and he needs help. So I go there, I help him out. We just stand there and wait for the tow truck and everything. And then fast forward three weeks later to a month later, I have a similar situation in the middle of the night. And I needed help, and I called him. And guess what he says? He say, he tells me, hey, bro, I'm sleeping. Oh. Let's talk tomorrow in the morning. <laughs> <gasps> he said, yeah. let's talk in the morning when you need an emergency in the middle of the night. Same situation he had. 100%. Yeah. <laughs> did, did you ever speak to him after that again? Because I probably would have blocked them. Uh, no, nah, things have never been the same, but I was just like, okay, uh, plan B. I need to call someone who's going <laughs> to assist. And you know what? You if know? you insist on staying in that friendship, you know this is not the person to call at midnight. No, it's just going to be an on-the-surface uh, kind of friendship. Yeah, now even when he calls and he asks for help, that no. thing still lingers in my mind. And I'm like, oh, bro, I, can't, I, I can't really help. Even though I know that I can, but yeah, I know yeah. that... He wouldn't do this, the same thing if things were to be turned around, you know? Mm-hmm. That's yeah. fair. And Prince, you sound like a very nice guy, Shem. Mm. <laughs> the fact that you're still taking calls from mm. them. Candace in Rodiport, talk to us about your friend. Hey, morning, guys. How are you? Good morning. Good. So, the most epic of epics, I had a friend a very long time ago who stole two of my boyfriends. Yeah. yeah. And then I ended up marrying one, and just to be deliberate, we invited her to the wedding. No, Candace, you are my yes. level of petty Betty. I love it. I absolutely love. It. Did they attend the wedding? Please tell me they did. No, sadly not. There wasn't even an RSVP. <laughs> oh man! Listen, if your friend is gonna come for two of your boyfriends and they become stealable, I think there's three people that are a problem here, not just yeah, one. No, definitely, Ex- definitely. But we, we've managed to fix the one, so it's okay. <laughs> It's fine. You've got a lover now, and that's all that matters, Candace. That's all <laughs> that's that matters. <laughs> well, imagine someone tries to break you twice. Yeah. How do you deal with that? Or oh, they badmouth your partner. Oh. For them to slip in. Oh, my goodness. Well, Nicole, good morning. Tell us, how did you know that they were not your friend? So, when I was 20 years old, my dad passed away, um, oh. literally in front of my eyes. Sorry and about that. I'm I. Sorry called my happens <laughs> I called my best friend because that was who I wanted with me mm. and uh, he kept making excuses and one of the excuses that stands out for me that I remember is he had to have his hair cut what <laughs> yeah. 
No, no, no. How you've bad got, is that? You've got to be kidding me. He had to no, go have real. his hair cut. Yeah, that was that was like his big reason was he. And it, this is a guy. It's not like a girl that has. A, but I mean, even yeah. then. Yeah. Yeah. But, <laughs> yeah. Even me that that my friends would say would play devil's advocate. Don't see how this works out for your yeah. friendship. No, at I, the end. I'd love I'd love to hear anybody's opinion. <laughs> yeah. Can find like a reason that that's acceptable. No, Nicole, that's perfect. You throw away a person like that. Yeah. Good riddance oh, to bad know, rubbish. Good riddance to bad rubbish. I'm and sure your life's better. A couple of years later, we got in touch again and we met up and um, I brought it up and I said, you know, that really hurt me. And mm. he's like, oh, you were always quite dramatic. Oh! <laughs> a gaslighter? What? How no. bad? No. That is yeah. horrific, Nicole. I'm so sorry that had to happen yeah. to you. I hope that you have got better friends now in your corner, you know? 947.